So I outlined what I called the grave situation, but there's more. Of the economy took a beating during the pandemic, but the federal stimulus checks have certainly helped. Interest rates are low and home sellers are still sitting pretty. That is all good news and experts say it may all lead to one thing, a wave of inflation that could have a chilling effect on our economy. Dave Galloway is the CEO of Heartland Home Mortgage and he keeps a keen eye on such things. He joins us now to talk about inf inflation anticipation. Hi Dave, good to see you. Hey, thanks for having me on. Great to see you guys as well. Yeah, all that good news, and yet some fear the brakes may be put on the economy at some point here. Is that simply because what goes up must come down? We just know that it's eventually going to happen? I think you've got a little bit of that uh, involved here, but also um, there's projections that it's not necessarily going to come back down heavy. And for those of us that can remember 2008 and nine, maybe through 12, how home values really tumbled during that time. Uh, that's not the projection now. There's a, a myriad of reasons why a lot of it has to do with just how we're lending, um, the ability to supply at that time. You know, when they were overbuilding a lot of homes that really you didn't have buyers for and then people that were buying necessarily weren't qualified buyers. So while the costs are still pointing up, it does lend itself to some huge advantages because of the weird spot we're in where interest rates are really low right now. Mm. So what would rising inflation do? You know, it, at some point, it's got to catch up. The interest rates will have to go up to kind of temper that a little bit. Uh, and then the thing to keep an eye on is how fast wages increase with that inflation. So that's kind of that catch-up point where the economy can really hurt if your if your wages are, are going up at a slower speed and they are. Um. So let me talk just a little bit about that. Inflation goes up, and the only way to really fight it is your wages must go up. Unless wages go up, commensurate with inflation. You, my friend, go into a pit. Now I know this because it happened to me when I began my work in the early part of the 1980s, 1981. I stayed in a position for about nine years. And because I was raising a family, looking at my income, I was a few hundred dollars below qualifying for food stamps. I was horrified. I had no idea what happened to me. So what I did, I took a piece of paper and in one column on the left hand side I wrote down what was the actual inflation rate for that year. On the right hand side I wrote down if I received a raise in my place of work what percentage. And over and over again for each year I discovered that the raises I had received were not adequate to compensate for inflation. In other words, in one year, inflation was double digit. I don't remember the exact statistic, but let's say it was 11%. And I got a 2% raise. That meant I was 9% in the hole. I did some math and I discovered what happened to me and I had only one alternative to leave my position and seek a new one. So what he's talking about wages kepping up with inflation they will not catch up. If you have a job that the employer will give you a raise adequate to the actual 
inflation rate by the CPI index, you are blessed. I would say most of the entire work, most of the workforce will not have such a position, which means every day as inflation occurs, the worker goes down in the hole a little deeper. I can, I can keep up with this um, this inflation right now then then you can have a negative effect on that uh, but we don't know just how, how much the how long the supply chain stuff is gonna is gonna take effect and, and really what the long term is going to be on that I mean, if you look at the stimulus packages that were just passed there's you know from a lot of, of financial advisors are thinking there's enough money in that to really so let's talk about what's been passed. I tried to cover that a little bit in my video on a grave situation. But as they pass this legislation that makes time for people to stay home, they're just getting dependent on government checks. Then when the government stops sending the checks, they'll have nothing. Nothing. And then they'll be faced with a terrible situation a very high inflation. So let me zero in on this video which mostly is to be about what follows the grave situation and that is inflation. Inflation is the eating away of the value of a dollar. In other words, your dollar purchases less because of inflation. So what it costs you for a cup of coffee in 1970. Now, <laughs> if you take a look at the cost of the cup of coffee in, in 2019. 25 cents in 1970, $1.59 in 2019. That's inflation. What is the current rate of inflation? It's probably running about 6%, but it's going to probably go into double digits. Probably. Why? Because the excessive spending of government creates the inflation. All the so-called packages of relief, while at the moment seem wonderful for people who get the checks, just simply drive up the cost of everything. Everything. And here you see an image of a dollar bill being, or no, a $50 bill, excuse me, being burnt because what that $50 bill bought a year ago is buying less at this moment that you're listening to this video. Is it jumping high? Yes. Inflation is jumping high. How high will it go? My thoughts and my estimate is it'll probably definitely hit you know, what they call double digit which means it's really going to cost you to buy something so if you look at this ice cream cone in 2003 50 cents in 2019 is 80 cents and the way things are probably in 2021 is probably a dollar. 
which means what you bring home will buy less and it means unless you get another job inflation eats away at your buying power so basically I just wanted to make you aware of the current situation that your dollar bill is going to buy less today than it did previously and it is only going to get worse okay so this is showing you um, This is showing you the buying power of your dollar in 2019. It was worth one dollar. And it, right, what's it worth right now? That same dollar is now worth about 92 cents, or let's say 90 cents. In other words, you lost 10 cents in the last two years. Now the impact of all the government spending is going to create a situation whereby your dollar is not going to be what it was a year or two ago and you'll have to add more money to it. So this is showing you that um, previously in 2019 dollar now it takes a dollar and seven cents. Five dollars 2019. Now it's taking you five dollars and 34 cents. Ten dollars in 2019. If you want to do the same thing, buy the same thing, it's going to cost you ten dollars and 68 cents. So you need more money, so to speak, to keep up with what you're buying okay and of course the inflation um, is a little different in each part of the country and a little different in each particular city but the general idea is that all these so-called stimuluses all these so-called wonderful things that people are uh, so-called enjoying are destroying the economy for everyone. Okay, now this is showing you as of July of 2021, inflation rate is 5.4 percent 5.4 percent and that means that to go to the store and get the same mix of groceries that you would throw in your grocery cart you now need more money to buy what you bought a year ago now back to what I originally told you about my life and that is um, inflation how it ate away at, at my life when I was uh, first in my line of work and also trying to raise a family with young children how I almost ended up in poverty almost and that was mostly because every year inflation came I did not receive adequate 
raises to compensate for inflation. This is what's going to happen to many, many people. Economy churning for three years. So just when you think about six trillion dollars that's been put, pumped into it, um, but also the, the, the other effect in that is we have to pay back some of that, right? You, you've just printed six trillion dollars. What effect does that have on the value of that? Mm -hmm. So paint me a picture about what this means for the housing and mortgage lending in. Hey, let's talk a little bit about what he just said. They just printed that money, and that is true. It's called fiat currency. You just give a command, you send it to the printing press, and then, of course, it is created. One of the best speakers on this subject is Eustace Mullins. Eustace Mullins was the very first truth seeker to expose the Federal Reserve System. And I highly recommend you listen to any of the videos by Eustace Mullins. Um, he, will, he will uncover this for you in a remarkable way. He talks about just printing money out of thin air. In other words, it would be like you going to your copier machine and just photocopying <laughs> dollar bills and then passing them off. Now I know that's quote counterfeit, but what's funny is the money that you call legal is actually counterfeit. So it's counterfeiting the counterfeit, but it's just creating it out of nothing. Now to try to make it simple, there's nothing behind it. There's no repository of value, meaning there's no gold standard, there's no silver standard, nothing. It's all on faith that you just believe someone will accept that thing is called a legal tender note. And that's it. There's no precious metal to back it. So the government just literally creates it out of thin air, sends it out to people, and mark, mark, markets it as a wonderful thing, a stimulus package. And people think it's wonderful when they get the check initially, but what many folks do not realize is that next year and the year after, their dollar bill will not buy what it bought the previous year because of inflation. So I just wanted to follow up on that video I called a grave situation and the answer is always the same. Put your faith in Almighty God. He will provide. I'm not going to promise you you have the best I'm not going to promise you that you will be uh, overflowing in material goods, but he will provide. If you read the Gospel and you read the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus told us not to worry about what we shall eat, drink, or wear. But Jesus said the most important thing is, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. And by these things, Jesus meant the food and the clothing and the housing, all of that. God will take care of basic needs. But God is not really interested in making you filthy rich. That's a false gospel. The gospel of health and wealth, prosperity. The way he wants you to prosper is in the ways of grace, mercy, and peace. Not necessarily material things. So do not worry about inflation. 
overwhelming you, but be aware, inflation is now creeping up higher and higher and is probably going to become rampant and completely out of control. But God will take care of you. God has taken care of me for many years. And I know he can do the same for you. Thank you for watching. And once again, I would like to thank anyone who gets to the end of my videos. I really appreciate the fact that you get to the end of my videos and don't click off. Thank you very much. God bless you. And give your, give your prayers over to God. And God will answer you, answer you in His time, in His way, and in His purpose. End of video.